Hello, I'm Michael Boatman. I'd like to read you a story called Wendy Finds a Home in Westchester. It was written by staff at the nonprofit Westchester Children's Association from a child's perspective about homelessness in our county. The beautiful illustrations were donated by Anita Edelman Fleischner. Wendy Finds a Home in Westchester. H is for the home I wish I could stay in with just my family. B is for the bedroom I live in with my whole family in the home we share with others. T is for the tears I cried when we had to move away to a shelter. S is for when I feel sad when my friends talk about their homes. C is for the counselor at the shelter who helped us to find our home. K is for the key to our new apartment. Finally, we have a home of our own. Wendy's story is all too common for many children living in Westchester County. But unlike Wendy, most of their stories do not have a happy ending. More than 2,800 children and youth in our county are homeless. They lack the safe, stable, and adequate housing needed simply because they are not classified as homeless consistently across government departments. Advocacy for homelessness and other issues for our children require persistence to keep them at the top of the public agenda. At WCA, we educate, we connect, we act so that every child ages zero to 25 is healthy, safe, and prepared for life's challenges. We remain independent by not accepting government funding, and so we count on the generosity of people like you. Please consider making a gift to support WCA at WCA4Kids.org. Together, we can make more happy endings.